Andy Katz here with an ACC March Madness preview, taking a look at teams that I think will be in the NCAA tournament and potentially compete for a national championship. Bottom part of the league, a lot of rebuilding. Let's get to the bubble. Georgia Tech, Louisville, Clemson, NC State, and Syracuse. It's a big bubble, big league. Georgia Tech, Josh Pastner, eligible for the NCAA tournament this year. Jose Alvarado comes back. The Yellow Jackets actually had a really good regular season last season in the ACC, so they think they're going to be in the NCAA tournament. Louisville, a lot of rebuilding with the Cardinals, but Chris Mack almost never falls too far. David Johnson, this is a team that will get better throughout the course of the season. Clemson, Amir Sims is back, one of the best players in the ACC, one of the better players at his position. And it seems like every season, Clemson is right there on the bubble. NC State, similar situation for Kevin Keats. DJ Funderburk is back, and the Wolfpack will be right there on that razor-thin line, game or two, either in or out. And Syracuse, Buddy Beheim, one of the best shooters in the country at his position. And Jim Beheim, last season, a little bit of a dip. They feel like they should be right there in the mix to potentially get in the NCAA tournament this season. So now, teams that I think will definitely be in the NCAA tournament, that will win some games, that maybe don't have Final Four potential. And I hate to do this to Florida State because they're always, it seems, the last couple of years, good enough to make a run to get to the Final Four. And they've been close, but they did lose a lot to the NBA draft. MJ Walker back for Florida State. They add Scotty Barnes. They certainly could be a team that goes on a deep run, but I'm confident they will be in the tournament, potentially a Sweet 16 team. Leonard Hamilton still will have the Seminoles in the mix. Final four potential, three familiar names. Virginia, Duke, and North Carolina. North Carolina, last season, that was not the norm for the Tar Heels. Cole Anthony was hurt, of course. This season, Caleb Love, rookie point guard, Garrison Brooks, one of the best 3-4 players in the country. So you got a great one-two punch. Outstanding freshman class for the Tar Heels. Same thing at Duke, led by Jalen Johnson. You bring back Wendell Moore Jr. And Coach K will have a team that will certainly get better throughout the course of the season and make a deep run. And then there's Virginia. The addition of Sam Hauser, the Marquette transfer. He could end up being a first-team All-American, ACC Player of the Year. Kihei Clark, an experienced point guard. Jay Huff came back. He could have gone to the NBA draft. The Cavaliers, of course, are going to defend, and this season, they'll be able to score much easier. So, Virginia, a team certainly out of the ACC that could compete for the national championship.